for the Sweet Souls. Happy Sunday. It's January 7th, and yes, it's freezing here. I don't know where you guys are. Unless you're in Florida, it's cold pretty much everywhere. But I have a late start. I didn't want to get out of bed. We're going to call on St. Michael. St. Michael, please return to sender. Anyone sending in a will, through thought, word, or action toward myself or the viewer, we're going to call on the Holy Spirit, angel, saints, spirit guides, and ancestors, and ask for a message for your greater good. So let me light my candle. And you guys will see that I am promoting Astrodipity, which is not your traditional dating site, but a dating site that uses your entire birth chart placement to align compatible partners. If you're interested, you can definitely find the link in YouTube. Um, also, I'll, you can Google it, but you won't see the discount until you actually register. It's a new startup, so it's a new company. It's going to be expanding fast. So any glitches or issues, make sure you reach out to support because it's at the bottom of the page. All right, guys, let's see. What's in the current energy? Going the distance. Wow, that's too many spirit. Um, the changes you're making are going the distance. This is justice for you. Card number 47 reduces to 11. Yeah, because you've learned to be flexible. You've learned to give up. Uh, trying to control the universe because you know you'll never win that battle. So you've definitely shifted um, your beliefs, your thoughts, and how you interact with the universe, with yourself. I do see that you're here. Um, there is a community of people here that you're meant to co-create with. You're definitely leaving the past in the past and you're stepping forward in a new energy. Uh, this is, I feel, your divine purpose. Whatever this community and co-create, that's your divine purpose. Between Worlds at the bottom of the deck tells me you've left your past self. You've let that past part of you die and you're stepping into your new beginning, into the light. So let's clarify these cards. I do believe TikTok has fixed the issue. Thank you, TikTok. I appreciate it. So we'll see. I'll know today. So let's clarify. Go the distance. Please clarify. Go the distance. Yeah, you're going to go the distance because you've self-reflected. You've gone within. You've done the healing work. You've gained a lot of wisdom, and now you have taken your power back. You're in your full power. You're passionate. You're driven. You're inspiring to others. You're beautiful. You're handsome. And so the changes you've made are definitely going to be long-lasting for you. Please clarify flexible. Flexible. Oh, my gosh, you guys. Flexible. Yeah, so I see your match coming in. King to the Queen of Wands. Just as passionate, just as driven, beautiful or handsome. Someone that will match your energy. Someone that is going to view you as someone that's loving, kind, empathetic, highly intuitive. This is a true masculine. That is, a, It's a true leader. This is someone that you will decide to make plans moving forward. You'll make plans with this person. All right, just clarify community. Community. Yeah, somebody is trapped in their head because they can see not only have you healed, but you're helping others to heal in some way, whether it's telling your story, whatever way God's guiding you to do this. But somebody's in their head because you're getting what you deserve. You're getting what's fair. This is the card of receiving and giving. But for me, I feel like this is you uh, receiving. Please clarify, co-create. Oh my gosh, you guys, I speechless. You're co-creating with the universe, helping your community, and you are in this empress energy, and you are creating a legacy, generational wealth for yourself. You are. One more. Or co-create, please. Because you've leveled up to this high priestess energy, highly intuitive and very tapped in. And you're embracing your spiritual side, you're embracing your spiritual gifts, and your spiritual path, what you're destined to do in this life. So that's amazing. Please clarify between worlds. Between worlds. Yeah, look at that. You left the past in the past and you headed in a new direction. You embraced in some, uh, something new. You learned something new between worlds. And it's leading to victory, success, and public recognition. That's beautiful. Give me one more. I have to get two more. <laughs> yeah, and this person from the past that you've left is wanting to rush in because they're heartbroken. 
but that was fated to happen. You know, this was a tough lesson. This is a part of this person's karma. You have a true divine soulmate coming in. Two of cups on the bottom of the deck. To the lovers, to the eight of pentacles. Someone that's going to support you on every level. And love and career and finances to someone that you can make long-term plans with. This is not a fly-by-night Casanova energy, a love bomber, a gaslighter, or a narcissist. This is somebody that is legitimate, okay? So I want to clarify one with the Intuit Tarot. I really love this deck. It's just I don't do my readings typically by reading off the cards because I channel and I like to just speak what comes to me. But let's just get one. Please clarify, go the distance, one for each. Page of Coins, uh, Setting Goals, Grounded, Great Prospects, Study of Magic, Good News, Works Hard, Ambitious, and Faithful. Page of Coin, a new investment that's going the distance. That's what it, the Page of Coins is. You learning something new. Making a new investment. Please clarify, Flexible. Flexible. Okay. <sighs> So with flexible, we see that you have been flexible with the universe, but then there is someone in your energy that did not learn the lesson from the past. This can be third party interference, uncommit, uncommitted, and they're doing it alone. So this is someone that came from your past that went into a union with a third party or had some sort of third party interference and they didn't learn the lesson. That's why you were guided away from the situation. Please clarify community. We got two on the fence. We have, which if it's on the fence, I'm going to take it reverse. Um, Queen of Wands reverse. Too many irons in the fire. Temperamental, pessimistic, demanding, not easily moved, strong-willed. And then we got the devil. Things that grip you from the shadow self. Materialism, restriction, obsession, addiction, and sexuality, sex. So someone is seeing, this is the energy of someone that, doesn't have good intention for you. They're very low vibrational and they're in their head because they see that you are getting what you deserve. It's a witchy woman. Please clarify, co-create. We got timing, one to two weeks. You're making progress, shifting consciousness, gaining strength, final steps, and increase. That's co-create. And we did get the 10 of pentacles, so that makes sense. Between worlds. Six of coins, generosity, balance, kindness, um, accept, equal give and take, care, being valued, and quid, quid pro quo. So yeah, you're moving on and you're getting what you deserve. Because you've left the past in the past, now you're open to receive the blessings that you deserve. Four of wands on the bottom of the deck, which says community support, uh, united, lover returns, homecoming, party celebration, and wedding. Yeah, you, your balance is being restored. Your security, your stability could be in a union, but it's all being restored. So let's clarify with the imprisonment. Actually, let's do the uh, initials and signs and we can clarify with the Kipper in part two. All right. Holy Spirit, Holy Angel Saints, Spirit Guides and Ancestors. Who, who is this reading about, please? All right, we got the letter B on the bottom of the deck. We got Cancer, U, Leo, I, F, V, the letter A. We have Virgo, the letter C, Scorpio, the letter G, Capricorn, the letter O, the letter D, the letter S, M, Aries, W, and the letter E. All right, so we will go into part two. Actually, let me do a moonology real quick, then we'll go into part two, and we'll clarify further with the Kipper. Truth and only truth for the collective. Truth and only truth for the collective. What does the collective need to be aware of? We've got 
It's time to take action. We got, what do you need to release? I knew that card was gonna come out. Release anything that is not, if they're not, if it's not adding to your life, you need to release it. Uh, take time to breathe out. Show the world the real you and nothing will come in the situation. All of these antics of people that wanna hold, come against you. I was saying hold your vision because that's on the bottom of the deck. Um, just keep pushing forward and don't worry. Everything is going to work out exactly the way it's supposed to because we have universal law and universal law doesn't discriminate. Doesn't, doesn't uh, lose an address, doesn't discriminate. Oh, and I want to say thank you to Karen. One of my followers sent me this dragonfly mug. I love it. I love it. I love it. I don't know if she's on YouTube, but I love this. My new favorite mug. Thank you so much. And I am grateful to all of you that support the channel, that give donations, that send prayers. I just love you guys so much and I'm so grateful for you. So we'll see you guys on part two where I will clarify with the Kipper. I love you guys. Bye-bye.